Hey y'all, I hope it's starting to cool off where you are. Here in Texas, it doesn't really start to feel like fall until October, but it's not as brutally hot as it was. I'm finding myself continuing to vacillate between craving summer and fall flavors, and that definitely showed up this week in the recipes. This week, your recipes include eggs baked in avocado with pico de gallo and jalapenos, chicken thighs with collars and onions, roasted eggplant with pesto and charred tomatoes, shrimp BLT cups, and beef with roasted figs over arugula with a balsamic drizzle. Let's get prepping so we can get eating. Hey y'all, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a quick pesto. So most pesto, traditional pesto has cheese in it and you may not be someone for whom cheese is really a great option or a good thing to do regularly and you might be looking for a version without the cheese. So that's what this is. It uses all the other normal ingredients for pesto. You're gonna have basil, pine nuts, um, garlic, lemon, olive oil, salt, and some red pepper flakes. You don't have to have the red pepper flakes. I just like things a little spicy. Throw all those together in a food processor and puree until smooth. That's really it. It's very, very simple. And when you do that, if it's not quite the right consistency, you can add a little bit more olive oil to give it a little bit more smoothness. Um, and yeah, that's really all you gotta do. The other thing I would say is I would always try and make this a day or two before you need it. It'll still taste great if you have to make it on the day you need it, but making it a little bit in advance gives it time for the flavors to kind of come together. It really gives that garlic time to kind of infuse the whole thing with its yummy garlickiness. So make it a couple days in advance, keep it in the fridge, take it out when you need it. Um, I think that's it. All right, let's get prepping. Thank you. 